Does anybody remember old Susan? Susan. Oh, Susan, we remember you, girl. We all remember you, little lady. And what you told us we couldn't do. Listen, I don't know if y'all remember Susan. But Susan came out and told everybody what they could and couldn't talk about. But here's what I need you to understand about the globalists. The World Economic Forum. The satanic cult that wants to kill the whole entire planet. Do you remember Susan? We all remember Susan. I definitely remember Susan. You see, in that world, it's a dog-eat-dog world. So they'll have their own people come out and say, well, you know, you need to do this, and it's okay if you do it. And they're going to enforce the rules on everybody. And then they told everybody they need to take that bop, right? So everybody took the bop, including the people who believed them. And then two years later, well, actually, four years later, Shorty is gone. But it was two years later before it all kicked in. And if you look at the statistics of how the bop had an effect on everybody, this is one of the ways where people go. They go out just like this. Some just started, abnormal cells start rapidly growing inside of their bodies and then they pass away now I don't like the fact that anybody has to pass away but that ain't my job to decide who come and who go I'm gonna be clear with you it ain't my job I ain't the one who make that decision and I'm not the one who judges but I'm gonna say this remember this is the person that was responsible for a whole bunch of censoring where people couldn't get access to the information. And I submit to you that all those people, there's a lot of them, that could have got access to the information and made up their own mind, made their own decision, but they didn't because there was a mechanism in place, a machine in place to stop them from getting the truth as it pertains to one platform this one individual was the one who made that decision so therefore there is a lot of blood on that person's hands and I don't know what else to say to you you dig let me see what she had to say let me let's just remember some of the things she was talking about back in them days because everybody got a short memory listen when it comes to vaccines vaccine hesitancy, videos that cause a public health risk. Where do you want to see YouTube do better? Well, first of all, we've taken the, we've taken responsibility very seriously. I've, it's been one of my top priorities. Um, and with regard to COVID and with regard to vaccines, that has been a top priority for us. Um, top priority. And we have, um, we have a number of different ways that we address that. So first of all, we wanna make sure that if there's information that violates our policies, we came up with 10 different policies around COVID, um, then if that's a violation of policies, then that's something that we'll remove. Um, we removed over a million videos associated with COVID. Um, but we also want to make sure that we're raising up information that we think would be that come from trusted and authoritative sources. And um, we've really been able to do that. Have you talked to the Biden administration at all about vaccine hesitancy or? or now, it's amazing how what's trusted information has changed. The concept and idea of what information was trusted has changed completely and totally but I submit to you that from the beginning a lot of the information that people were talking about was wrong and I want to know where's the penalty to all the people who were wrong that's why people are trying to start World War 3 and World War 4 all at the same time because the people who were wrong were who let me rephrase that I misspoke the people who lied and intentionally did what they did. They sitting there saying, oh hell, we can't get caught up in this one. Because if everybody and their mama find out what we done did, they gonna come get us. And she, if, 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 I mean, in hindsight, listening to these things, 
is so, I mean, eye-opening. Or vaccine misinformation? Well, we did an event actually with the Biden administration, including President Biden himself, um, with a number of um, creators, um, Fauci as well. Um, and we really saw that as an opportunity to be able to help and spread that inf the information that was coming from the administration and coming from experts to um, using creators and those channels to be able to distribute uh, authoritative, trusted information. I wonder if there's anything that you see in, you know, the way that anti-vaxxers behave on the platform, if there are any data or, or insights there that could be helpful to people understanding where they're coming from. I mean, we try to, we try to understand what are the different ways that we can break through. Um, so we talked about in this campaign that we did about getting back to the things that you love. Um, we talked about, we, rep we had people that represented all different backgrounds. We had people, like one of them was- You like how every time they won't run a campaign, they show some black folk faces. I I'm gonna tell you something. Negroes is always the target of everything. And I don't mean it from the perspective of the common man who's walking around. I'm saying from the globalist perspective, from their authoritarian world government perspective, black folks is always the first target. And, and at least in this context. No, I'm not gonna take that back now. You think about it. it, it we the test dummies. Think about all the stuff that old, old DJ uh, eugenics did in Africa with them little children. No, no, we the test dummy. We the test case, then they wrote it out on all the rest of y'all. I mean, it's just, in hindsight, they, they, they're telling it to you right here. Look at the first thing they show. And to be clear with you, when we start talking about them and they, I ain't talking about my next door neighbor. I ain't talking about the person in the office over there. I'm talking about the people that I've been highlighting this entire time. So don't be getting all in your feelings because I love you no matter what skin color you is. If you're good and you're righteous, I'm with you. But if you're evil and you're wicked and you're trying to hurt people, man, I can't rock with you. No, sir, I can't rock with you. Was actually featuring um, her mom um, talking about like how she was thinking about. It. So we, what we really tried to do was get. I, I wonder if that woman that they just showed is still alive today. Not just from the experts, but also people that um, were not experts, but who. I had enough of this. R.I.P. Susan. And I would say things much more harsh, but that would be unbecoming or unbefitting or unbecoming of me as an individual to say such harsh things and to speak ill of the dead, but rest in peace.